Hi everyone, it's Ari here. I'm gonna do story time for everyone in every way. Today, I'm gonna read Grandpa Christmas by Michael Morpurgo, illustrated by Jim Field. Let's have a look of the book. Look, so Christmassy. Mm. Okay. And let's get started. All right. Every year at Christmas, I fetch the box of Christmas tree decorations from the cupboard under the stairs. That's also where we keep the diary I wrote when I was little. On the cover, on which I had drawn dozens of daisies of all colors, I had written Mia's diary. Keep up! <laughs> I always take this diary out and hide it amongst the branches at the bottom of the tree. It's never that well hidden, that be no point. Everyone knows it's there because it always is and they know why it's there too. And they pile all the presents around it. Our children, the whole family, know what's kept safe inside the diary it's a letter my grandpa's letter to me reading that letter aloud after all the presents have been opened is as much a part of our family christmas as christmas cake and christmas carols like me they all know parts of grandpa's letter by heart. Sometimes they even join in while I am reading it. Here is what grandpa wrote. To my little granddaughter Mia from her grandpa. Dearest little Mia, this Christmas, instead of a Christmas card, You'll have plenty of those, and instead of a present, you'll have plenty of those too. I am sending you a letter. A letter from Grandpa. Not very exciting, perhaps, but it will be different at least. Scrunch it up if you want to, but I don't think you will. Excuse the wobbly writing. Remember last week you were helping me in the vegetable garden? I had hurt my back. So you were doing the digging for me. And stopping the stopping to show me every time you found another worm. And I was telling you to be careful with them. How worms are our friends. How good they are for the soil. How they help us grow our vegetables. And how the blackbirds and trousers need them too. And you weren't in the slightest bit interested. You were too busy giggling as you had up each worm to show me. I sat there watching you, pencil in hand. I was making a list of the seeds we needed for planting out the vegetable garden. Broad beans, my favorite. Sweet corn, your favorite. Seed potatoes, the wheelchair variety because grandma always taught them best for baking. As well as poppy seeds and foxglove seeds because the Butterflies and bees love them. As I watch you digging away happily with your trowel and humming to yourself, 
My heart was full of love for you, Mia, and I wanted to write this letter to you because there is so much I wish for you in your life. I have loved these days when you come with me to my garden. I love above everything your delight in it all, in that wriggly worm dangling from your fingers, in that trust you keep calling a blackbird. Just to see you digging there in the good earth, so full of the joys of being alive, fills me with happiness and hope. And then there was the moment you found the frog and came running over to show me with cupped hands. We watched him hopping away into the long grass and you hopped back to your digging again. Have you ever seen a picture of us, of this earth of ours from space, Mia? We are a bright blue bead spinning through infinity, a beacon of life. But one day, if we do not care for her, this good earth of ours will be as a red and lifeless as the moon. The life of this world is as fragile as you are, as I am, as trees are, as butterflies and bees and birds are, as worms and frogs are, as plants are. If I have learned one thing for sure in my long life, 73 this year, Mia, and that's all. In it is this, earth is a living, reading being, and we must hurt her no more. We are using her up. Folding the air and the sea, making a dustbin of the land, a sewer of the ocean, a graveyard of her creatures. We have to learn to love our earth again. Love her as much as I love you and you love me. For you and I, we are a part of this living planet, part of Earth's great family, and we are her guardians too. So I wish for you, little Mia, and for all children everywhere, a new world without war and waste, where children like you will be able to breathe in good clean air and drink from clear bright water a new time when we grow and eat only what we need no more and learn to share all we have so that no one anywhere goes hungry again i wish no tree ever to be cut down without planting three more in its place. I wish for you a world where in flying our plants, driving our cars, heating our homes, in our endless striving to be ever more prosperous, ever more comfortable we do not overheat the planet do not melt the ice caps rise the oceans and so bring famine and flood and fire down new upon ourselves I wish for you a world where the whale and the dolphin the turtle and the jellyfish can live the life of the deep undisturbed in seas unpolluted. Those same seas, dear little Mia, 
where we have paddled and played so often on our summer holidays. Do you remember? I wish for you a world where the elephant and the lion, the tiger and the orangutan can live wild and free, never locked up and imprisoned simply for our entertainment, but left to themselves in the forest, left to roam their plains and their deserts, left to live their lives in peace. This we have loved together, Mia. The sea, the trees, the blackbird, or the trash, whichever you wish it to be, that wriggly worm, that jumping frog, the good soil you are digging in, the moon, the stars, our whole wonderful earth rolling through space. So, look after all we have loved together live live life life always in rhythm in harmony with this earth then all my wishes will come true for you and all shall we be well but all shall be well only if we make it well little mia there's a lot of healing to do a lot of loving your grandpa When the reading is over, we all stand up and say, Happy Christmas, Grandpa! Happy Christmas, everyone! And then have a family huddle hug, as we call it, arms around each other in a circle. I always like to think that Grandpa is there in the middle of that circle with Oops. Oh. <laughs> it's almost as if he has become our grandpa Christmas. Ah, what a great story. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again in my next story time for everyone in everywhere merry christmas and a happy new year see ya